Hello everybody, welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Chidi Abere. In today's tutorial, we'll be looking at how to remove Google Capture or Recapture from Firebase uh, phone number verification. Uh, what do I mean by that? We normally see a situation where if you want to... Uh, okay, before then, I've uh, already built my screen and integrated uh, Firebase. Uh, if you want to find out how I did this, you can check out my video mobile uh, mobile phone authentication or verification check my youtube channel it should be among uh, one of the videos uh, in there so most times when we try to verify a particular phone number it takes us away from the app takes us to the browser does the google recapture stuff verify that you are not a robot and then brings you back to the app so we don't, that's not what we want to see in something like an enterprise application. So how do we solve this challenge? How do we solve this problem of Google Capture? It's something that needs to be done. Google needs to verify that, okay, you are not a robot that is sending multiple requests or sending invalid requests. So it will have to verify that. So how do we, how do we overcome this particular stuff? Okay, let me show you a typical example of what I mean. Um, this has already been done and um, it has been connected to my application. This is my application. For phone number uh, verification, please don't forget to put your, uh, your key, which you have to generate from your Google, from your, uh, what's it called? Which you need to generate from your project. So how do you go about that? If you want to generate that key, this SH1 key, how do you go about that? Simple. Go to your uh, Android folder, right click on it, do open in and terminal so that it can point to this particular folder in your Android. Now, we want to be able to generate this key. What do we do? We do Gradle W sign in reports so this will help us get our sha1 key which is what we would like to paste in there so this is what it generated and uh, with this you can be able to uh, complete your authentication so we are looking for the signing key we are looking for the signing okay see it here so this is the sh1 you can paste either the sh1 or SHA256, which is the longer key. So this is the key, and uh, this is where I pasted it here. So for you to be able to use phone number authentication, you need this particular key. So the next thing where we'll be talking about is, what is the process involved in Google doing this verification without having to go through your browser? It's simple. Each of us uh, do have in our Android phone, we do have uh, Google Play uh, services or Google Play, uh, one green button like that that looks like Google Play services, I think. Yeah. So what Google will do is that it will send a code, a code to that Google Play services and there will be a kind of response to that particular uh, query and it will automatically authenticate you without any need to take you to outside of the application and bring you back in so how do we accomplish this this is what i this is what you experience when uh let's let's see this is what you experience when you try to do some of uh this stuff zero eight zero uh okay let me this is uh, a random number i don't know who has it but i hope i sure do hope he doesn't get uh a notification or rather i think i will use my own phone number to do that uh, two four six eight okay so this is what i mean when you click on this get otp this is another screen i designed for otp verification see it takes you away from the app entirely verifying you are not a robot and then before it now comes back to this place to send you your OTP. So the OTP has been sent. So what do we want to do? We don't want to see that screen 
that takes us away from our application. So what do we do? We can simply go to uh, console.cloud.google.com here and then um, with this, this is my project. This is the account I'm using. Make sure the account you are using here is the same account with what you have uh, in your is the same account so this is what i'm using then over here this is what i have here so let me close this so what do we want to do we want to enable uh an uh an api or api library that will help us do this stuff so device verification I want to look for device so this is it here this is it here once we enable this verification process becomes seamless we don't need to go over to so it has whatever it has here we they have a tutorial which you can do from here and all that so what do we do we enable this and once this is enabled on here it will automatically affect the changes to our firebase project and to our uh, mobile app project so with this enabled you will not get that uh screen that normally shows uh, takes you away from the main pro uh, the main app takes you to the browser and bring you back so this has been enabled for us it's going to overview sorry oh sorry sorry about that i enabled it for the wrong project so i come here i come here i go to all this is my mobile phone authentication so this is my project this is the one i'm supposed to enable it for so let's do that again sorry i missed that so this is phone authentication Go to API, go to library, then come back here and then uh, look for device verification. So this is it here. Click on it and then enable. This is the name of my project. This is it here. So make sure you select your project make sure your project is selected so that you don't run into problem of uh, it didn't work so it's enabled here you can see it I can disable it from here so with this enabled we can now go back to our project here and then we can should do we need to refresh this okay let's just restart rerun it or let's reload it for for benefit of doubt so in here we have uh, 080 uh, 00552244 okay so what happens is that it will not check for that OTP again, it will also assume that I have play and oh, it didn't see my play services. That was why it has to come to this place again. That was why it has to come to this place. It says phone number format is incorrect, but that is exactly how you remove um, what's it called. I don't have play services installed on this phone. There's no uh, Play uh, Google Play service installed, so that's why it has to take me back. So another thing is make sure you have the Google Play service uh, stuff or soft uh, application on your device before you start doing this. So this is the end of this tutorial. Thank you.